Hey Facebook friends, I'm just watching a lot of John Ramirez today on my phone and um, on YouTube and I just want to say like no other speaker or teacher that you hear will set you on fire for God as much as he does and open your eyes. But also I just wanted to say, I just thought of the topic that like we should seek miracles and the supernatural but not like in a crazy way and I think that's why a lot of Christians just like stay away from it because Sometimes it can be kind of crazy, like, um, I don't know, like Bethel is a good church, but they do some weird stuff like this whole glory cloud thing. And <clears throat> Anyways, there can be like some weird stuff, like falling back in the spirit. I'm not entirely sure if that's from God. It might be, but, you know, I think we can like seek supernatural stuff and we can seek like praying in a powerful way and praying against Satan without getting into all the other stuff. Like if you're not comfortable with it, which I'm not particularly like the falling in the spirit thing, it's okay. Like you can do some of it <laughs> and not all of it. And like, I'm currently going to a Pentecostal church and they talk about tongues a little bit. And I, uh, was open to the gift. I, I still, I still consider it a gift. I don't think that it's like, um, you know, they call it the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I think anyone who's saved has the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then you get a spiritual gift, which there's like 12 or something. So you don't have to get tongues. But um, anyway, so I just wanted to say that, that <clears throat> for all you people that are Christian and like you want to seek the miraculous, but you're scared because you feel like you got to do the whole package, like you don't have to, you know. You can just seek the part of like praying with authority and praying about pulling down strongholds and, you know, defeating Satan. Like I've been praying lately, like yesterday, me and my husband were praying a lot, <laughs> like a lot, almost the whole day. And I was like praying in a way that I've never prayed before, but like in English, <laughs> but it was really cool. And I felt like my prayers are really going to be like effectual, you know, if it would, they would have an effect. And we were like driving down to Georgetown and driving around there and praying and stuff and uh, I was praying for Gerald anyway so just you know be open to the supernatural you don't have to do like the more extreme stuff you know you can just do like some of it so anyways God I just pray for anyone that's <clears throat> watching this that took the time to watch this thank you and um, I just pray that you will help them to have eyes to see and ears to hear what you want to impart to them. If you want them to, what gifts you want them to seek. I pray that they will be open to the supernatural and to miracles and to actually praying for people to get healed and casting out demons <clears throat> just like Jesus did because he said greater works than I did, you will do, God. So I pray that you'll give us all a boldness if we see someone who's sick that will actually try and pray for them to get healed and believe that they will get healed because you said a faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, God. So I just pray that we'll really believe, God, <clears throat> and not just be like on the fence or lukewarm or just kind of in the middle ground about it. I pray that we'll really, really actually believe the stuff that the Bible says about faith and about healing and miracles. And that people can be set free from evil spirits, God. I just pray that you will just open all of our eyes to see that we have that power and that authority to, you know, bind Satan and stop him attacking people. And that people can get set free. And help us to know that we can believe all that without, you know, necessarily we don't have to pray in tongues. Or we can just pray normally in English. <laughs> and uh, so, God, I just pray that you'll help us to be more bold all of us Christians to just, you know, just to jump in the water and not be scared. To jump in the deep end, even if we're not sure how we're going to swim in it. <laughs> I pray that we'll just be willing to jump and get out of the shallow water because uh, John Ramirez is talking about this too. But I think a lot of Christians, you know, we're just like in the shallow water, just like la-da-da, -da, just splashing around. And now we're comfortable with that. We're comfortable because we can put our feet on the ground. You all know how it is when you're a kid and you're at the pool. You can put your feet on the ground and you're comfortable. But God's like, mm -mm, go in the deep end. <laughs> I want you to go in the deep end. And we're like, but my feet can't touch the bottom. And God's like, just trust me. You know, that's where, that's where it's like, that's where the fun is. It's not really all that much fun being in the shallow. But <clears throat> you go out in the deeper water 
And I'm not referring to tongues and I'm not referring to falling in the spirit. You can go out in the deep water without that stuff. You don't have to see demons. You don't have to see angels. You don't have to see lights or, you know, you don't need that manifestation stuff. Like you can just feel it. <sighs> For me, like when I feel God, I, it's like a warmth, you know, so either you feel like a coldness about people or places or you feel like a warmth about people or places. I don't like see anything, but like an aura, but it's just like a, you feel it. Anyways, <clears throat> I think this video is long enough, so may God bless you all. So I pray that you will have the boldness and the courage to go out deeper in the water. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all.